Hello gamers, uh, Pet here. Welcome to vlog number 11, I believe. I just uh, came back from uh, Dreamhack Bucharest 2014, where I had a blast, uh, like usual. Uh, first time I went in 2012, then in 2013, when I had the chance to be a StarCraft 2 admin. And because I enjoyed that so much, I decided to come uh, to go again in 2014. And I do have to say, I'm impressed how the organization uh, went. And I'm talking here about not about the DreamHack organization, about the event organization. Because in case you don't know what uh, DreamHack is, well, well, it's a lot of things actually. But uh, they basically have uh, something called DreamHack, DreamHack Open, right? So they travel to different uh, countries where they organized tournaments and in this case they usually turn uh, organize um, starcraft 2 tournaments so they actually have a fall production team where they do stuff and they broadcast uh, starcraft 2 online and on the swedish television and usually on the sunday um, they broadcast also on the main stage so it's kind of cool to see how everything um, evolves so uh, in this vlog i'm basically going to talk about that i'm still a bit rusty because i haven't recorded anything for about one week more than one week actually i was actually a bit stressed um, uh, last week and i'm also a little bit tired because since thursday i kind of i'm kind of sleeping pretty bad uh, i'm also kind of I, I slept pretty bad at the hotel even though the hotel was good i'm not used on sleeping on other places because i usually don't travel so i actually have problems with my neck and i can only sleep on uh, two ways on the sides <laughs> so i have a way where i'm getting I, i'm also i'm usually sleeping like this i don't know how to put it oh yeah, yeah like this so i have i need to have something here you know like a pillow and I'm, uh, anyway anyway um yeah the downside is that uh, my pillow at home also broke because reasons and now i need to buy a new pillow so yeah that kind of sucks anyway about DreamHack, um, the downside, oh, it, it was a little bit more relaxing this uh, year because uh, we do we, we did have about four extra admins. Last year it was a bit stressful because uh, we weren't enough, so one admin actually had four groups uh, to admin, which is actually kind of chaotic. You always need to go and see exactly how your players are playing and keep track on who's going to finish, what's going to finish, go veto, 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 veto from your you know matches then you go back and then you put the maps into the, the computer and then it will randomly generate um uh, the map pool then you need to go back to the players and tell them the map pool and then of course there are also you know you pick up the results you put it into the system but there are also going to be you know random problems like uh, the, the remote for the monitors or some players need extra chairs uh, actually, the last year I actually had to give 4GG my admin chair, and so he can sit on two chairs, which kind of sucked because my feet hurt, and he's one of the downsides. You know, like I, I'm fat, but I also have some, you know, foot condition called platfoot, something like that, where I basically don't, uh, don't uh, walk properly. Like my feet don't stay like this. My feet are like this, so I, my my full. Um, my full feet is all hitting ground, which after you know sitting uh, a couple of hours and walking a couple of hours, my feet simply hurt, so I need to sit down, and that's maybe one of the reasons why um, why people think that I'm lazy. So yeah, I'm still recording. I had some problems with uh, with this one. I whenever I started recording, it basically stopped. So I just changed the battery, and it seems to be okay now. Anyway. It, it, it was pretty fun. The downside, well, a small downside was that on the first part of the groups we didn't actually have too many players playing. There were groups with two people and like three groups with three people. So that was pretty easy to get going. But then uh, the more interesting stuff uh, started to happen. Also, uh, what else? What else? Let me actually show you some pictures maybe. Because it was fun, but hey, 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 I just remember, just in case you want to see, this is the view from the hotel, I, I, we stayed at Intercon Intercontinental Hotel, something like that. So uh, this was the view, pretty, pretty nice, uh, we were sitting on the 16th floor, and uh, <laughs> a small downside was that I was kind of getting dizzy in the elevator, because the elevator has a pretty high speed and it's also accelerating real fast, and then... Uh, it, it was a little bit, um, a bit, a little bit, but I got, I got, I got used to it, right? Then uh, this is uh, too bad. The guy that I went with him 
to Bucharest. And uh, this was him playing uh, pinball, you know, like I, I like pinballs. I've been playing a couple of PC pinballs like Pinball Arcade or Pinball FX2. And I kind of got into pinball and I didn't have a chance to play pinball since 1996. Yeah. So there are no pinballs in my town. And uh, since I went to Bucharest, I knew that there have to be pinball there. And after um, it took us some time to find this place, which was actually hosting some pinball tournament, and um, we played Star Wars. This was pin uh, pin bot the machine something like that, but it wasn't properly balanced. And then there was some Elvira, which actually had some problems. So we didn't actually fully properly play, but I am still happy that we I managed to get some balls going basically. Right, and this was still Friday, and uh, Friday. We basically arrived at around 8 or 9, so we didn't actually have a lot of time to do stuff. And this was the only time I actually had. <laughs> and uh, we actually went to some Vietnamese place um, that actually got some pretty, pretty good sandwich. The, the sandwich was actually kind of amazing. And this is the Elvira something pimple table that I uh, played a little bit. And this is basically the breakfast. Yeah. The breakfast was also kind of nice because they actually had a cook. And you went to the cook and you tell uh, you you tell him what kind of omelette you want. Uh, so this was the, om the omelette from the first day where he basically put kind of everything and it was pretty pretty nice. And they also had pancakes which uh, I was afraid to try and afraid to. <laughs> the reason why I, I I'm afraid to eat in the morning and I'm usually afraid to eat to the whole day because I want to avoid going to the bathroom for number two and also since i also don't travel much it happened last year but it also happened this year but i've learned something and guys take this like if you know for a fact that you are not going to get to a toilet like a proper toilet to the whole day and you kind of want to avoid eating go to the bathroom uh, go to the breakfast or go where you eat right eat relax then go back to the bathroom because if you do it other way around you go to the bathroom then you plan to eat by the time you are going to go to the place by the time i was going uh, in the, i was in the taxi going to uh, to dreamhack your stomach was already working and preparing something special so i kind of had to go to the venue <laughs> just keep that in mind it's uh, it's one of those lessons that uh, someone else has to to tell you or you are going to find it yourself and finding it yourself might not always be the best idea so anyway the breakfast was was pretty pretty pretty, pretty good this is me uh, waiting for the players to arrive um, as you see the pieces are on the left and on the right side and uh, it was pretty clean because you know there were no players yet these are some boot babes i didn't actually have time to try anything like really they they even had some kind of steering wheel uh, on uh, and on three monitors i didn't even went on any of them which in a way kind of sucks but you know i don't really have too much time to do this kind of stuff because i'm busy with with organizing stuff and getting players and uh, all see if they need help and stuff like that this is me it is a bit a little bit funny uh, I don't really, I don't usually like take pictures with other people, especially girls. Like I don't see a point why I will need to take a picture with this girl in particular. But I said like for fun, you know, I was with a guy. I said Let, let's take a picture with a girl. And the funny thing is that <laughs> basically I move, but she kind of stays the same, <laughs> and she actually has that 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 posture, you know that that. That girl posture. <laughs> it was funny. And she's having the iPhone in her hand from what I see. Anyway, this is basically the papers that we get. And uh, I'm not sure how if I'm allowed to give you too much too many information, too much information. But anyway, basically you see, you have a paper with the with the with the maps. I write round one, I write the players. Uh, then I simply go and make a point under the uh, near the map under the player of the map that he vetoes because it's blind veto the other player should not see what the other player vetoed so basically i just make a small point and then when i'm going to the other player i'm simply covering the points up with my hand and basically he looks he vetoes then as you see the map the first map was merry-go-round and king Sandwich station and then frost 
and then I go back as after I draw the the things I go back and uh, put them uh, there and, and tell them the, the maps anyway this was my view as you see the first player is actually dark tone um, a Romanian Zerg, this was a French guy, this was Snoot, and um, the settings are is also done pretty efficiently, so uh, this was group, let's say this was group A and B, those are close together, so you won't find a, a, group, a, a player from group A on the other side of the row, so it's pretty efficient to just walk, and that's not really a problem. This was me, trying to be funny. I'm not sure if I was funny, but <laughs> anyway. Also, another good thing is that um, you no know, stuff actually gets food, so basically I've kind of spent no money. Uh, another good thing is that you know Monster is the sponsors for you know DreamHack, so we kind of had a free Monster Energy drink, and I kind of got five in the first day, five in the second day, so that's what I was drinking the whole day, Monster Energy drink. So, that, I'm not sure how healthy that is, but it was pretty, pretty good because, as I said, I wasn't sleeping that well. And I don't think anyone is sleeping that well when you do stuff like that. <laughs> so, energy drinks was... Uh, so, thank you, Monsters, for actually doing that. Because last year, there was no Monster and uh, there were, were no energy drinks. So, anyway, uh, food was okay also. It's pretty nice that... It's, this is one of the things that why I love doing this. And hopefully, I will be allowed to do it again and again. Um, when you see all the things and all the events that happen around and how people are moving and DreamHack staff, which are really, really nice guys and guys that know how to do stuff, I'm feeling that I'm a little part, you know, I'm a small part of that mechanism that's keeping going and I love being part of that group that's trying to do something and it's pretty, 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 pretty nice. So it's, it was also nice to see that the, uh, last year I was kind of, uh, I mean, I didn't expect that food. So at the, last year, I, at one point, I see the stage manager uh, coming with a big box with food, putting that food is here, and I just went, it ate some food, uh, did some more results and all that kind of stuff, which was kind of nice and unexpected. This um, is the Hearthstone uh, backstage, you know, this was uh, put a Z, Echo, and I kind of forgot this guy's name. Um, it was kind of chilling for them, you know, on those big couches. I also saw Creep. I didn't have, didn't had a chance to talk with Creep because he was with his girlfriend all the time. I also didn't have too much time to go to the Hearthstone booth. It was uh, near the end when um, when I was a little bit free. And this was the main stage uh, on Sunday when they basically started. These are the booth. This is Tejo, the head admin. This was how they did the the caster's place, it, which, it, which was actually looking pretty, pretty good. Uh, I like the background, I like the, the lights background on how they did it. And uh, I'm not sure how it was for them to cast like that, but they are kind of used, used with people coming around them. So I, I'm not sure, but it, it was okay. This was... Um, the blue booth, no, the red booth, I believe. And this was a pretty cool lady or girl or however you want to call it. And uh, she actually, I, I don't know, if I believe it, for about six or seven hours, she was handling the steady cam. And I'm not sure how she was, she, how she was able to do it because the steady cam is pretty heavy and she was always going around, always circling around the players. A pretty, pretty heavy job and a pretty, pretty. A hard job, you know, and uh, usually pretty girls don't take hard jobs, so that's kind of respectful. Um, you know, respectful. I, I don't think we have too much respect in general, but she deserves respect. Anyway, uh, this was life in his booth. This was me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, uh, I went to. I think this was in the last day. It was in the last day, this was uh, Sunday, I went uh, with a taxi with uh, Smix and In Control and right when I was getting out of the taxi, I see this guy, I see Dandy and I actually meant Dandy, the, the first thing that Dandy saw when he came into the, into the venue was me and since my face is kind of, uh, he was the one that basically said hi, <laughs> no I wasn't the one that engaged, so he kind of, he remembered my face 
Uh, and when the, I came out of the taxi, he saw like, hey, man, I go shake his hand again. And they were like, and see, he's, 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 he, what the hell? Since he was there, I said like, hey, then you, do you want to take a picture? He, it's, quite, it's kind of hard for him because everyone wants to take his picture, but he was in a good mood. He was happy and he was like, yeah, let's take a picture near the flowers. And we, we were kind of pretending, smelling the flowers. And then I said like, yeah, thanks. I wanted to go to the guy that took the picture, but the guy that took another picture and then he was daddy, let, let's do one like this. And it was, it was pretty funny actually. Then he's a, actually a, a great guy. He's not a phony. I know another one. It's kind of a phony, but then he's actually pretty cool. So I'm very happy that I actually like. I wasn't a fanboy, like a Dandy fanboy. Like I saw, like okay, it's Dandy. He seems uh, fun. But after uh, after taking this picture, I was actually smiling. You know. So after that uh, Monday morning, I actually had the chance to go to Pelash Castle. And if you have a chance to come in Romania, I do recommend you to get it. These are some pictures. I'm not going to go over everything, but uh, you know, it's like a, the museum of the castle. This was the crown of Carl the first, I believe. Uh, these are some weapons, and this is about it for this set of pictures. Let me actually go and find another one because there is uh, another story. So basically, Sunday, um, basically Sunday on the last day, I, you know, I was I, I, as an admin, I need to stay in the front, right? Uh, so in case uh, a player needs help, he can signal me. So this was this is what happened with Jaidong, right? Um, because I was you know admitting Jaidong, and at one point uh, I see him waving something like that. I saw that something was wrong. Then he started waving towards me. So I go there, I run. I see that his keyboard is not working, so he cannot type. You know, pause, please. Um, the other admin went actually go backstage yelling pause the game so I, anyway i do i go there and see if there is what's happening i see if, uh, to see if they need help or anything anyway i didn't know that i'm going to be on stream because i don't know what cameras they are showing but basically after like 30 minutes the cameraman i believe his name was andreas comes to me laughing and he's showing me on his phone this so, so yeah, I I actually went to to the front page of Reddit, of StarCraft Reddit. <laughs> it was, like I wasn't really trying to creep around. I was actually trying to see if uh, they if what's going on, if they need any help because you know, um, Marcus, if I remember correctly, his name was Marcus. I also know as the pizza guy because he also did something on on the uh, on the last uh, DreamHack. And he, he, since he was there, he was handling the stuff, so I wasn't really required to go in. But anyway, this, this was pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> I'm, st I'm still laughing. I'm still looking at this, and I'm still laughing. So uh, yeah, I, that, that's how I went to the front uh, page of uh, Reddit. I also, I also met with the Twitch guys, um, and I also met with other good and interesting people. And there are also a couple of other pictures that uh, I want to show you. Let me see where they are. Yeah, basically, yeah. let me show you real fast some of the DreamHack. Um, these pictures are all available on the DreamHack Flickr page. But uh, <laughs> this was pretty funny one, how he spilled, uh, spilled uh, the champagne. This is Brent, the guy from Blizzard, also a very good guy. I also talked with Romain. I believe his name is Romain, Romain, or I'm not sure how to pronounce it, the guy from Razer. I actually got his business card, so yeah, I gave him my business card, he gave me his business card. So I actually got business business cards, which are actually not here, but it's okay. Uh, let's see, Smix. Um, okay, okay, scrolling down. This is me epic epic head <laughs> epic head this was the spain guy one of the organizers from uh, dreamhack spain also a cool guy let's uh, go bottom these are some of the pictures from the class play this is the girl that basically won she also won last year this was Queen of Pain that basically won some kind of keyboard, but you can't see her body. But this is kind of a definition of an attention whore. This girl was kind of uh, cool, cool costume. And she also had a pretty good presentation. Um, scrolling bottom. This is uh, me. 
with uh, I believe he, if I remember correctly his name is Andreas we were kind of never introduced but then I've added to the, him today on Facebook and uh, he was basically fixing the camera and I was there to see if anything uh, since I was you know giant dunks admin I need to take care of some things like uh, make sure he puts his headset on and other stuff like that and then the camera kind of broke again well it the and then I kind of had to come in and put the camera again and the guy took the f the, this photo and I'm actually kind of happy because these are the kind the, the best kind of photos also the one on that was on reddit those are the best kind of p photos not the ones that you take with the player like uh, can I please take a picture with you and he's like yeah and you're like smiling well, unless unless you are you know like um, doing uh, you know crazy stuff like with dandy but it's uh, kind of cool. I'm actually kind of happy with this picture because I, I have a proper picture now. <laughs> uh, MC, Smix, MC. This was uh, another cool costume from Hal. Also, I, she was a lady, I guess. I haven't seen her face, but her body is kind of great. Okay, show more skin. This was, uh, you know, the Queen of Pain costume. Yep. The definition of an attention hole. Nothing, nothing, there's nothing wrong with that, but we have to see that pretty bad costume. Uh, what else? Todd. Scrolling down, scrolling down. This was the girl from uh, a Romanian television. She kind of needed help with someone. Uh, she wanted to interview someone, so I got her heart stem, and then I got her uh, player from uh, NRS, the Romanian team. This is me with. Andreas, I believe his name is that. Uh, another picture. This was me before getting the T-shirt. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. The thing with the T-shirt. Last year, Hellspawn came and said uh, you need to wear a Dreamhack T-shirt so you will see more official, right? So the thing is that he had an XL T-shirt. We and I'm kind of fat, so I need an XXL T-shirt. But this year, I got a proper T-shirt, which is XXL. So I, I was ba able to wear it as it should, which <laughs> was okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see, scroll some more, scroll some more, anyway, it was a pretty, pretty fun event, so I do recommend you to get, it, to go to one, just go to one, if you have a chance to go to a DreamHack, go to a DreamHack, because it's really fun to see the production value, it's really fun to see the people, it's really fun to go around and talk with people and socialize, and by the way, this is the girl that I took the pictures with. <laughs> you know, like, uh, funny, funny, she's one of the, she looks Spanish, so I guess she might be the girl from uh, uh, the LOL team, oh yeah, this is me taking uh, the vetoes from uh, Hero, I also had Hero last year, he's actually pretty okay. Lot of players, lot of players, good pictures, and strangely enough, it was a full house. It was a full house, mainly on Dota. So basically, kind of the the whole time, it was really, really packed. It was you, you couldn't find a seat. So it was even better than last year. So things, I'm, I'm really happy that things are improving and getting better and better. You see, this was the one that I was talking about. Ne didn't have a chance to to try it out. Which is unfortunate because I, you know, I have my steering wheel and I'm playing simulators right now. I would have loved. And this is one thing that I hated. I believe this is Jeb Carlos. I'm not sure his name. It is, he handled the Logitech booth. And the thing is that his microphone was so loud, like he didn't care that. Oh, that one, on, on my part is that no one, I, I don't think that anyone went to him and tell him, you would get the volume down of your microphone. But. For the whole days, for the two days, his voice was always going on, like <laughs> yelling on LOL on the tournament, then yelling again about products, and like five meters to the to the left of the booth or the right of the booth we were the players, and some players actually told me that it's too loud. It's like ah, oh, oh, annoying. And look, another cute girl. You see, it is why you need to go. You need to go and see cute girls, <laughs> and also another thing. Uh, this is one of the reasons why uh, why events like this need lol because you know lol easy games, uh, easy game a game played by girls. So if you have lol, girls will come to events like this. If you only get Starcraft and Dota, you are going to have a sausage vest. So anyway, 
What's going to happen from now on? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm still one. I will still continue to make videos. Uh, but I will still need to see how I will organize myself because basically what I want to do now is to uh, start learning Unity and C Sharp. My dream for since I was a little boy was to make games, and I'm kind of getting to an age where I, you know, I kind of need to do something and not um, because with the thing with Gamer Pet is going a little bit slow, and which is you know it's fine because I still need to learn stuff and I still want to make my videos better. And there are still a part of videos that I want to make, but making those videos requires money and manpower. Like I actually want to go to some studios, interview the people and other stuff like that. So everything in time, everything in time. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Again, if you have a chance to go to DreamHack, go to DreamHack because it's really, really fun. Uh, in the meantime, um, in the meantime, play games, have fun. Uh, thank you guys for watching. See you soon. Goodbye.